Welcome to this clip on how to get up and running with Power BI Desktop. I'm going to walk through the install procedure only, get you up and running. There's a few things to consider. Not that hard, but just makes life easier if you know about this in advance. I usually do Excel, but I'm also now doing Power BI. It's a great product if you like Excel. I'd recommend you also take Power BI. So I'm going to go through some simple instructions and also some tips. So how do you start? Well, it's actually three easy steps. Two if you actually count the recurring ones. First one is to prepare, then you're going to download, and then you're going to install. The preparation is really just something, some information you need to have in advance, which is about your computer. The first question is, do you actually own this computer? If it's not your computer, you can't download and install software on it. Next, you need to know what type of computer system you're running, 64 or 32-bit Windows. This is not about Windows 7 or 8. This is about your actual operating system. You just need to know the answer to this question, and then you'll be good to go. Many of you probably already know that answer, but anyways, if you don't, this is where you'd find it in Windows 7. There it is. This is an, this is 32. And this is where you'll find it in Windows 10. In this case, it's a 64-bit, but it doesn't matter. You just need to know the answer. The fastest way to get to that, if you don't know how to get that, is press the Windows, pause, break key on your keyboard, and you'll be able to find that. It'll take you right there. Your keyboard may not look like this one, but you probably but you will have those two keys, so just press them. Step two, obviously the download. I've attached the download link into the notes of this video, but it's not hard to find if you just Google it. If you take this specific link, you're going to arrive in this screen. You've got options here. I recommend you go to the advanced one. It'll take you right to this screen. Obviously, this is the download area, no question. And then you'll know why we needed to know which version you're running, because there's a 64-bit and a 32. Once you download it, you're going to have this file in your downloads file, and then you're going to launch the file, and that's pretty much it. Just remember, you got to do it every month to keep current. So now that you've got this wonderful product, which actually looks like this when you start, so now what? I don't see, it doesn't look like Excel. So do I need to go to school? That's kind of the old, uh, the old school method, right? Going to enroll a class and sit there in a chair all for hours and hours and someone's actually going to teach me. Well, that's really not the way we do it these days. Um, in fact, I don't know of any classroom situations for Power BI right now and i don't think that's necessary anyways there's lots and lots of good options and the first ones you'll see is right on the launch screen there are forums there are blogs there are tutorials there are videos there are overviews right there so if you're not familiar with power bi you might you know at least take the overview just to get you started um, but there are many many options for those who want to learn and also at the same time advance their careers and probably make more money because you're turning data into information which everybody wants. But there's also the web, there are communities, uh, maybe your organization or if you actually work for an organization there might be some corporate um, options and let's not forget those good old things we used to learn from which is called books. But my view is best way to learn, just take the tool and use it. This is one of the first things I did, just uh, playing around. The other piece of advice I would um, share with you is don't start working with your corporate data or your complicated data, financial data. Um, you're going to spend more time looking at the product rather than how to use the tool. Take something that's interesting. It doesn't matter. There's all kinds of data available now. This I just found in the national database, all about fires in Canada, which I found really interesting, um, especially now in Power BI, because I can see this pattern, um, which is interesting. I don't know why, but it's certainly uh, 
at, you know, raises some questions, and it's much more interesting to see it in that format rather than in a database. So that's the that's Power BI. Um, can't say much more than that. So thank you for watching, and have a nice day.